In this video, I'll show you how to add Eventbrite attendees to Salesforce CRM automatically. So whenever the attendee will register for any event into the Eventbrite, the same attendee will be automatically created as a contact into the Salesforce CRM so that whenever you want to send a follow up email to your attendee, whenever you want to contact them, you can directly do the same via Salesforce only. Want to learn how you can do that? Come with me and I will show you the whole process step by step. So this is my Eventbrite's dashboard and here I have created an event and I want whoever is going to register here, the same attendee should be automatically created as a contact into my Salesforce CRM. And for that, I'll have to connect these two applications and I'm going to do that with the help of Pabli Connect. Well, it is an amazing integration and automation software via which you can easily connect multiple applications and automate your tasks. Okay. And you can also reach here by typing pabli.com slash connect i will also attach this link into my description box now if you are a new user of public connect you will have to sign up for free i'm already an existing user so that is why i'm clicking on signing and in the free account you will also get free task every month in your account account in order to test these kinds of amazing automation now after clicking on access now i will reach to the dashboard of public connect and from here exactly i am going to start creating my automation my workflow okay so Firstly, you will have to provide a random name to your workflow. So I'm providing the name as add even bright attendees to Salesforce automatically. Okay, now click on this blue button create and then you will find two boxes in front of you. These are trigger and action. So trigger means when this happens, action means do this. So whenever this happens, do this. Understand with an example also, whenever a sale happen in a payment gateway application, send an email via Gmail application automatically. And here, according to our use case, whenever the attendee will register in even bright application, automatically add the attendee in Salesforce application. Okay, so this is how you need to always select the applications in which you are building an automation. And here I'm building an automation in even bright and Salesforce. So that is why I have selected the trigger event. I have selected the trigger application as even bright and I want that whenever the attendee will register. So here you can see triggers when a new order is placed for a tickets to an event. Okay, so whenever someone is going to buy a ticket, someone is going to register for a ticket, the detail of attendee will be captured here. Okay, so how I'm going to do that. So firstly, you will have to connect your even right account with the Pabli connect. Okay, so click on this add new connection and simply provide the access of your even right account. Well, I have already logged in in some different tab into my even right dashboard. So that is why it is simply asking me for the permission and don't worry Pabli connect is 100% safe all right so authorization is successful and my even right account is connected with Pabli connect now I have the organization name as the Sonam Rai so that is why it is showing the same name and I just have a single event only here which is reflected here also because I am connected so I'll be selecting the same event now I'll be clicking on this button and you will see what will happen so basically it has started waiting for for the response so read the instructions once you have clicked over the save and send test request button do a test submission or record in that application in order to capture the response here so basically it is asking you to do a test submission or record and here the test submission means registering for an event as an attendee okay so i will open the link of this particular event and then i am going to register as an attendee into specific event okay so here you can see the copy the url okay so i'll be opening this url in some different tab all right all right so i have pasted my event url and then i am going to register as a new user all right so seminar on growing up your business startup and when and where so the date and time is thursday february 20 february 2nd 2023 okay and i am going to reserve a spot for me and here i am going to register for this particular event as a dummy user okay so let's say the name of the person is dummy only all right dummy only uh, the last Last name is user only okay asking for the email address so I'm adding a random email address something like admin at the rate pably .com. all right again it is asking to confirm so let me add the same once again admin at the rate pably .com. <clears throat> I'm sorry for that now it is asking for the general admission so again the dummy 
user is only the first name and last name and email address is admin at the rate pablitudes.com okay so i'll be clicking on this i accept basically checkbox okay and clicking on register and here since i have uh, specified my order form as the first name last name email address only these fields so that is why it has asked me only these details okay so the order is placed now i will go back to pably connects dashboard so here you can see the dashboard of pably connect and and as soon as I have made an order, you can see the response has been received here. Well, here you can see I have this webbook ID, the user ID, the endpoint URL, the configuration action and the API URL. Well, the response is received by, but I was expecting the attendee details, basically the details of the person who has just made the registration. Okay. So how I am going to fetch those details because I would like to add those details to the Salesforce CRM. Okay. So don't worry, I'll tell you what exactly we are going to do is all the details can be fetched up using this order ID. Can you see that we have received an order ID? So we are going to fetch all these details with the help of order ID. Okay, for that you will have to search for the event bright once again. And in the action event, since I want to uh, get the order ID, so let me search for this get the order ID. Okay, so the get attendee by order ID. This is going to be the action event. Okay, now again connect even right with Pably connect and you don't need to connect it once again you can actually use this existing connections as well okay so I have clicked on save and here you can see it is connected simply it is asking for the order ID well can you notice that along with this order ID we also have extra text so I'll have to first remove this extra text okay so how I'm going to do that so simply click on this plus icon and here Pably connect has an amazing feature of text parser. Okay, so let me show you search for the text formatter. All right, text formatter. And with this feature, you can perform various kind of things within your text. Okay, so in action, even you can see a lot of operations are here. And here I am going to choose this text parser. Okay, simply click on this button connect and it will be immediately connected. Now you just need to provide the text in which you would like to do the moderations. So here I would like to trim this particular text okay this extra text and I don't need to manually copy and paste the data here I'm going to map it and mapping is very simple in Pably connect simply click on this field and you will find the above data here in the drop down okay so simply click on that particular data and this is how the values will be mapped asking for the text match after text match before okay so i want to i want to fetch this particular data so firstly i am going to add the before and after data here okay so i have copied this data after all right and in the end i have this extra slash again so i am going to copy this slash and pasting it here and you will see the magic that as soon as i am going to click on this button it will remove this extra text and will provide me the order id value so here you can see I have received the order ID and again I am going to map this ID here but if I will click on this field you will see the data is not visible. So either I'll have to refresh this automation or I can do one more thing. I can save this particular step okay. So I'm providing a random order ID clicking on save and now you will see the data will be reflected here okay. So removing this dummy ID and here I am going to provide this order ID clicking on this button save and send test and you will see the magic the response has been received let me show you the details one by one so where is the name and the email address of the person which I would like to add into my Salesforce CRM and here you can see I have this profile name here is the email address here is the first name and the last name okay so the presence of this data clearly shows that our automation is working fine basically the connection in between even bright and Pably connect is working fine now I am going Going to send the same data to the salesforce crm so that is why i directly search for the salesforce application here all right here we have the salesforce application and here i would like to create an account so that is why the action event will be the same create account simply click on connect and simply click on add a new connection connect with salesforce and provide the access of your salesforce account again i am already logged in into my salesforce account so that is why it is not asking me the credentials it has 
has simply asked me for the permission so the authorization is successful and again the sales force is also connected asking for the last name so as i have told you we are going to map the value let me search for the name basically the last name and here we have the last name as the user asking for the first name again search for the name and here we have the name as dummy all right well i have not collected any other details via my registration page so that is why currently i do not have these details but it is completely up to you that what type of information you would like to gather from your attendees okay so currently i have captured only the first name the last name and the email address so i'll be creating the account with these three details only okay so where is the email address field all right here we have the email address field again i am going to search for the email address and here we have the email address okay so finally i'll be clicking on this button save and send test request and you will see how the contact the attendee which we have captured via even right will be automatically added into my salesforce as a contact all right so clicking on this button save and send test request and waiting for the response all right the response is also arrived let me refresh this particular page and wait for the contact to be created automatically and here you can see dummy user has been added and the email address is also added and it is the same email address okay so this is how now onwards every time you are going to collect a new attendee the details will be automatically added as a contact into the salesforce account that to in real time that to instantly because this trigger will instantly capture new incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time okay now you do not have to do anything manually simply close pably connect sit back and relax pably connect will take care of all the tasks in the back end okay and i am also going to attach the workflow link into my description box so just in case if you want to access this automation this workflow into your pably connect account you just need to click on this particular link and sign up for free into the pably connect and the same workflow will be cloned into your pably connect account that to for free not just these applications you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with pably connect you can ask your queries at forum.pably.com my team will surely answer to your questions this is the website of pably connect and for the latest updates of pably connect and unique automation ideas you can join our facebook group that is formget.deals if you have found this video helpful in any way share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video